All right, y'all, so I'm in the backyard again. And I'm just gonna do a quick video. Close it down. And I'm gonna pick a watermelon today. And like I told you, I didn't like the way, I don't know what's going on with this plant. Look at my pepper plant. It's got nice peppers on it. But this is right next to the plant where I saw that hole in the ground that was right there. Now this plant is dying out. It's weird. I just got off of work and I came back here to look at this and look at it. I watered it yesterday, but it's like drooping. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. The other one completely died where the hole was at. Look at this. I mean, the jalapeno peppers, peppers they're doing good instead so of banana was in the back. But I don't know what caused that. But anyway, so I came back here just to pick a, I'm gonna test one of these watermelons. It's gonna be a real quick video. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick this one right here. Now listen, the first thing I noticed, they're not as big, not near as big as they were like the other years. And the bottom is starting to yellow on it. And of course, the little tendril just next to the watermelon is all dried out. As you can see right there, it's all dried out. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one as a test and I'll cut it open when I get upstairs and show y'all what it looks like. So y'all stay tuned for that. Yep, that snapped easy. So let's go ahead and take it upstairs and see what it look like inside. I'm not gonna pick the other ones. This, I don't know if y'all can see, but let me see it. There's a couple of watermelons like right there. Right there. There's two in there. And there's one right there. But I just picked this one for right now. I just want to test it. All right? So that's it. I'll see y'all upstairs. So yeah, I'm gonna cut this thing open. I don't know what it's gonna look like inside. It might not be done, but we'll find out right now. Let's just see. Might be not ready. It's been sitting back there though. Nope. See that? It's not, actually the mound was kind of getting soft, but it was not ready all the way. And like I said, this is the reason why you don't plant. I actually tested that one more time just to make sure, now I know for sure that you should never plant another different kind of crop like cucumbers with the watermelons. Cause you see how small they were? And y'all see how big my watermelons were in the past? They were a lot bigger than this. We'll taste it now, see if it's... Wow. It's really sweet though. <laughs> it may look pink. Let me taste this part. That part was sweet. Yeah, this part right here wasn't that sweet, but this part right here, that was really sweet. So, this lighter part, so the other two, I think I'm gonna let them sit in the backyard just a little bit longer. It's still sweet though. But I just wanted to show y'all that real quick. See the size of it. See what happened. Cause all, what happened, I think the, uh, the, uh, the cucumbers took the sunlight cause the leaves are so wide that they covered up the watermelon and leaves and they couldn't absorb as much sun. And it, and it just took over the whole area where it looked like mostly just cucumber. But I actually had like seven watermelon plants under there. So I just wanted to show y'all this real quick. 
This is the reason why you don't do that. But it still tastes good though. The watermelon still tastes good, but look how small it is, okay? So anyway, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I will pick the other ones at another day. I'm gonna wait a little longer on those, but I just wanted y'all to see that. So never ever, ever place cucumbers or any kind of vining crop next to each other like that. Let your watermelons be by themselves. You know, let your cucumbers be away by themselves and so forth. So, there you go. Y'all have a nice day. Peace.